Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. All right, time right now, 1218. Let's check in with Matt. Nice and sunny out there. We really took a turn from the Ugh, it, weather we had. It really had was kind of like a gloomy, just like you didn't really want to get out of bed. That, I know. that Monday, that Labor Day was just not good. It was chilly. Yeah. Finally getting to that summer like weather. We got a lot of sun good. and 80 degree temperatures for the rest of the week. So it's already warming up now out there. 60s and 70s on the map. 71 in Burlington. Still some low 60s out there. 62 in Topsom. 69 in Danville. And a 71 there up in Malone. Town in Southern Vermont, it is a little bit cooler mid 60s across the area and that's because we've got a lot more clouds so I think it doesn't warm up very much in southern Vermont western New Hampshire today you can see those clouds just being really stubborn in the upper valley western New Hampshire even into places like Rutland Middlebury Bennington and southern Essex County in New York a lot of clearing though in the northeast kingdom coming into the Champlain Valley right now and it'll continue to push slowly off to the south as we go through the rest of the day so I think northern areas are the most clear it's all because of this high pressure system that's uh, over Quebec and that's kind of bleeding in some drier air into the state. More rain and clouds off to the south as that system that impacted us earlier kind of stays down there. So we actually have a lot of sun through this weekend. Temperatures also mainly above average. Our average high is 76. We'll be in the 80s for most of these days. And then showers don't return until next week. So we've got several days of warm and dry weather ahead. So on Futurecast, you can see the clouds slowly pushing off into southern Vermont. So I think... It'll be a mostly cloudy day down there south of Rutland and Lebanon, but the sky should start to break up by around 6 p.m. So the end of the day should be nice and a beautiful night. Clear skies, comfortable temps in the 50s, and then tomorrow is just a top 10 weather day. Almost total sunshine for everybody except maybe a couple of clouds in the upper valley and beautiful temperatures in the 80s. And then that also lasts into Friday, pretty much a carbon copy of Thursday. So dew points also through this time are gonna stay very comfortable. It's not humid. Dew points right around 60 through Friday and Saturday. We may start to creep up late Sunday, so it gets a little bit humid by the end of the weekend, but we'll enjoy the comfortable temperatures while we have them up there and the low humidity levels. So if you're headed out to Northern New York today, it certainly isn't humid. It's nice and comfy with uh, 60s and low 70s in the Tri Lakes region. So a great day for a hike, mid 70s near the lakeshore, 76 up in the St. Lawrence Valley there, places like Messina, Malone, Potsdam. Same here in northern Vermont, 60s to near 70 in the mountain towns, mid 70s elsewhere, 75 in Stowe, 72 in Linden and 75 there in Virgins. A little bit cooler, as I mentioned, down in southern Vermont where things take a little bit longer to clear out. So 60s to near 70 is more gonna be the theme down there. 72 in Springfield, 65 in Dover, and 69 in Ludlow. So a decent day for the lake. Not much wind though to get those sails going. Five to 10 knots at most, I think that's even generous. Under five knots is pretty much the rule today and 10 knots more the exception. Wave heights one foot or less because of the lack of wind, but a beautiful day to maybe dip your toes in with the water temp still in the low 70s. And then tonight, great night to open those windows. Low 50s for most of us, even some upper 40s in the Tri Lakes region and the Adiron in the Adirondacks and Northeast Kingdom. And then a beautiful stretch of weather. Look at that to end of the week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all in the low to mid 80s. Nighttime lows, upper 50s to near 60. We get a few more clouds into for the end of uh, the weekend with a little bit more humidity in the picture. And then again, our next chance of rain isn't really until Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Sorry.